So this is my 29 gallon tank. Um, on this tank is a weak Aqua Pro uh, light. Um, it's not the app enabled version. It's an older version than that and I can't find a light shade for it. And the lights are very bright and it sits basically centerpiece in my living room um, next to my telly. And yeah, it just seems to be quite harsh on my eyes. So I couldn't find a shade for it. So um, I've made my own shade um, and I've made it um, out of tape. Uh, it's like metal effect tape. So looks looks quite good. Uh, it looks like metal, obviously it's not, it's just tape. Here's the roll of tape here. Um, think I bought it off eBay for about 17 UK pounds, uh, but the review said that it wasn't very sticky. So I've got some electrical tape here, this grey tape, uh, which I stuck to it. Um, and yeah, and it, and it works. So the, the metal tape um, is just stuck to the grey tape, electrical tape, and the electrical tape is actually the thing that is sticking to the light itself and then um, I put a fine strip of black tape at the bottom there so um, when you're looking at it say from from my settee y y it's not as glary it's still glaring a bit on the black but you see the silver is a lot more reflective and the black isn't so it's not as bad so I just wanted just to you know if you're looking at this for a few hours a day uh, you just want to protect your eyes and if you can't find a shade for your particular light um, yeah you can use this tape I would imagine you could even use it for cylindrical lights as well if you wanted to um, or if you didn't, just didn't have the money because some of the shades for the next gen lights from this one they're about 35 40 pounds so quite expensive I would have paid it if I could have if I could find one don't know if I will eventually get a a sheet of metal instead and somehow screw it on I don't know but at the minute I'm quite happy with the with the tape and I've got a roll of it <clears throat> and also wanted to show you excuse me this uh, hygrophilia b53 plant that's now growing out of the water which looks you know absolutely tremendous and there's a little bit of Ludwig here I believe it is that's also um, I did pull all the Ludwig ear out of this tank. I didn't like the white roots that would that would just straggle off it. Um, but a, a little bit was left by accident and just caught in between that log and just started growing. Um, and, and it looks really good. I've left it. So it's really nice. That it's all growing, growing out of the water. So this is my 10 gallon tank. I had to rescape it. It's a bit of a mess. Um, the pearl weed had uprooted itself and was almost like floating on the top of the tank. So I had to pull it all out, apart from the back section on the left hand side. Um, and then I replanted some Hygrophilia 53B, which you can see that's the large leaved plant at the back on the right hand side. Um, it's it's not normally that large but that's been growing out of the water so that's probably hmm, good chance that could melt it only holds one epistogramma fire agazizi red which is just coming to shot now bless him he's on his own in this tank because he's aggressive basically and I had him in a 29 gallon tank which I'll show you in a minute um, but yeah, he just bullied all the fish basically. He's a bit fat. Um, I feed him normal sort of varied dry foods, different types, but I feed him bloodworms twice a week. And uh, I've cut that down to once a week because he's looking a bit, bit porky, bless him. Um, the tank's a bit, might be a bit not as clear as it should be because I only did the rescape yesterday so this is a lucky bamboo plant um it's the curled version uh, which i didn't want so i put it in a jar of water uh just so these shoots here would grow enough uh, to get some height on them so i could hopefully transplant one of these uh, into my tank so here we are took a cutting of the plant 
Uh, let's just put it in the tank. Okay, so let's just just plant this. I want to put it in. There's a little hole behind this piece of wood. I only want to stick it in there, really. And just that'll do. And just hopefully that should root if we can get it in there properly. That should do it, I think. There we go, let's have a look at that. There we go, lucky bamboo. So, as you can see there, well, it's in the water there. Just coming up now, hopefully, that will uh, take root. Sat in the back of that log. Yeah. That should be. Should start growing. Should start growing really nice. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play. And I've got something to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say up again i got tired eyes need a cup of blend that's right in the am that's my only friend no light just the sun coming up on the horizon i lose track of time yeah i move fast and climb a new class divine yeah true passion shines and i'm through passing time i choose stacking dimes you snooze half the time while i move passing by uh. i work hard each and every day i get lost in the words i say i don't push pause no i push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say oh, oh. 